hope you're all having a good day. So today I'm going to be doing the every room is a different pack challenge. Figured I'd hop on the bandwagon and do it before it's not cool anymore. So I built this random shell. I have my phone here. I have James Turner's website open. He has the random pack generator. So I set it up so that it's all the packs that I have. And we will start by trying to do the outside of this house. Hopefully we get a good pack to start with. So let's see. Okay. So I got get together. If you guys can see that, I'm not sure. Let's see what we can work with here. So I'm only going to select get together. Okay, so we do have some stuff. Yeah, this is where Windenburg came in. So I can actually, I can do the outside of this house. I think just fine. Like maybe we do some sort of brick or wood vibes. We could make it like a modern house maybe. This I can work with, I think. So we'll do, looks about right. We'll do all that. We'll keep it to that and then maybe we'll do Like that could be really nice. So maybe we don't even do it. Up top we do this as well and just leave that bottom. We're off to a good start, I think. I think we got very lucky in terms of what we get to work with here. And do we have any floors? Oh, we do, okay. This is just basic black tiling. Looks like we didn't get too many things with like swatches could do like white tiles or something like that maybe or should we stick to the gray yeah let's stick to that color i think that looks really nice did we get any doors we did okay yeah so i'm thinking this is going to end up being quite modern which is fine i'm not that well versed in the modern world but i can certainly try to become well versed the blue looked pretty nice actually and then what windows okay we have some decent windows not super modern we could try this or does that look strange <laughs> this is stuff that i would normally never use but I think that's good, you know, like it gives us a chance to try new things. Okay, so I like the idea that we have this sort of window. What does that look like? I mean, it even looks like, like this, but then that giant thing jutting out is inside. So what I, and I move it towards the middle, maybe get like a smaller window over here. Because modern builds usually have like a ton of light. If we can try to replicate that, that would be cool. And then we get like a few windows out back. Something like that maybe. And then we just leave that side of the house. And again, it's supposed to be modern. So I guess, you know, as many windows as you can. In terms of rooms, we don't have get together roofs so let's see if i can pull this off yeah so now we need like oh uh, no okay uh this can be fixed maybe we just like keep that there bump this up like that or something i don't know we'll figure out some way to make it look not crazy. There has to be a better way to do this roof. Let's see, if I rotate it maybe, like it would do that there, that there. But if we have it here, let's just bring it up just a little bit, but not too much. That should be fine, right? Yeah. Okay, I like it. So I think 
we are all set. There's I could do like This house is being held up by absolutely nothing, so we do need a pillar. We'll do the landscaping at the end because that's also going to take me ages. Living room, give us a good one. Bowling night stuff. Do we have living room stuff for bowling? There is living room stuff. Okay. Um, this is good. Yeah, okay. I guess that could be. Do we have wallpaper? We do. Stone and paneling. I mean, we could make this work, I think. Just have to find something that we're not going to regret. That's a nice neutral color. Do we have flooring? We do. Oh, linoleum. Um, I like that wood tone. That's just nice stuff. Not going to lie. Should we put like a, a bowling alley in the middle of this? <laughs> And the sofa. Where are you, sofa? I clicked on you. There we go. The huge sofa. So we're going to have to rethink this layout. Maybe here. Move this here. How's that look? So that's far apart. Can I size this up? Okay, we'll keep it like that size, I think is good. That should be fine. Can't go wrong with blue. That's nice. I like that. And then they have artwork. And there's not as much artwork as I thought. Yeah, they could just be like professional bowler. That's just very proud. Um, and displays all of his work as soon as you walk in. There's fine. Moving on. Let's do the kitchen. We got perfect patio stuff. I just, I don't even know what to say. So we'll have, oh, but they do have counters. <gasps> Never mind. I take that back. Okay. We can make a kitchen out of this. And then we'll just use space game stove, fridge. I'm fine. I mean, yeah, it's going to look outdoorsy. Do I care? No. <laughs> uh, let's do white. We have some tongs and some barbecue sauce. This family solely eats barbecue. We'll make this little corner the kitchen. So let's get a trash can. My favorite go-to trash can. Uh, let's get a stove. And a fridge, which fridge probably would be better there. So I'm going to move you, put you here. No, you stay there. You go here, and then you can go in the corner, and we'll just get rid of you. Okay. Not bad. We got cool kitchen stuff for the dining room. It's a big table, but it fits the space, I guess. Can I size those up? Oh, those are pretty. I like those sized up. Very nice. Salt and pepper for the middle of the table because fancy. We have a light. Even better decor. Oh, obviously I'm not going to keep the lemons for everyone though. What else do we have? I clearly have not used everything in this pack, but I really should because how cute. Okay, maybe I'll stick with the black and white theme though, know, like I should be. <laughs> and then we just need like a base theme archway to get into the dining room. Nice. All right, I think we're ready to do the bathroom and then I have to somehow squeeze stairs in here. So I might have to move something around. So now we'll do the bathroom. Get to work. I'm nervous about this one. Oh my god. 
I hate this. I'll just do that. I'll just, okay. I mean, we got a lot of stuff in this expansion pack, so that's great. Is this our only sink? This is like a, a prison toilet. I mean, it's probably better than like actual prison toilets. But I mean, like, come on. <laughs> what is that? It looks pathetic. And there's no like white swatch. But there's a white sink swatch. You're, you're kidding. This is a joke. This is a joke. The smallest mirror in the world. Um, I could put a calendar <laughs> in the bathroom. But we can have nice artwork. I do love, I use this a lot, actually. This sunflower one, I do love that. I mean, it's fine, but I, I, it works for what we need it to work for. Okay. Um, bathroom's done. Now for the stairs. Yes, it works now. Okay. Uh, do we like this placement? It, it is what it is, I think, <laughs> at this point. I can put the clock back. That's exciting news. The clock still works where we had it. What are we working with here? Okay, let's bring this wall back a little bit. Um, or get rid of this, at least. So let's decorate the hallway with vintage glamour stuff. I will check for a wallpaper. It's very fancy. But I will make this work, because boy do I want this house to look somewhat decent. Can never go wrong with white. There we go. Okay, happy with that. Uh, vintage glamour. Okay, we have an ottoman. Make use of that. Put that in the hallway. And try to do like a fun color. And the red's nice. There's a cart. Cart's kind of cute. You can like put stuff on that. No, I hate it. Uh, get a mirror like over there in the corner. That centered. Yep. And then we can put um, at a little table. I like the cart. Let's put the cart there. Put some books over here so you can read and enjoy yourself. You know, freshen up when you leave your bedroom. Uh, and then we need doors. Did... I regret that I... I regret this very much. I mean, this is... They are living bougie upstairs. That's an understatement. Bedroom number one. And then we'll do the kids' room. Island living! Okay! I like the bedroom stuff in island living. Let's put you this way. And there's some fun swatches here. Let's do something fun. Can you even, like, is that for sitting? Or is that just I don't know, but it matches, so we're gonna use it. And there's bets at tables. We're locking out again, guys. Now for the kids' bedroom, and then we'll do one last bathroom. Kids' bedroom time, dine out. We can give the child a plan. I'm, we might have to reroll for this one. I can put this in here. So we have like two things from dine out. So, I just don't know how we're going to literally turn this into a bedroom. So let me re-roll. We have some dine out stuff, so we're still following the challenge. Toddler stuff. We will have a toddler bedroom then. I, that kind of works out, you know. We could use this and size it down. And the toys. 
just gonna start placing things randomly. What is this? Like a, a seat? This is some kid's room. Time to use the space game. Just so that we can get out of this room and do the bathroom one last time. What is that? What is that? Uh, I'm keeping the panda. Some more seats. You can put this at his, the end of their bed, maybe. They can, like, fit. Bathroom again, let's see. This is our last room. City living. Oh. They had the potty mouth, or the talking toilet, or this. Shower. And they have a bath. So we can use all of it. So we have the sink. Do we have a mirror? Is there no mirror? There's these, though. I'll, I'll try to use these. Uh, there's, okay, there's standing mirrors. Yeah. Okay, so this bathroom will have a standing mirror, because that's just how this household rolls. Bathtub is fine where it is. Uh, let me bring in my basting toilet paper. I like it. It's not that bad. I mean, it's a big bathroom with very little things, but what can you do? Okay, guys. Who is ready to check out this crazy build? It looks beautiful from the outside, but I promise you it's probably not living up to its expectations on the inside. So this is the front door, and we have our fitness stuff, chairs. So when you walk in, it's like a bowler's dream. Literally, it's the bowling night living room. So if you go through this door over here, you have the kitchen, which was uh, perfect patio stuff. Again, it works. And then in here, we had our cool kitchen stuff dining room. Not bad. And then in here, we had our get to work bathroom. This one, uh, this one definitely was a shocker. So this is our vintage glamour hallway. I mean, the doors just look very mansion-esque, because they actually had doors for this pack. This is our uh, city living bathroom. It's kind of big. Over here is the toddler room. So this, we had to use two different packs, because I originally got dine out, and uh, there just was not enough stuff for... A bedroom. I don't know what he's buying. So we ended up using toddler stuff was the next pack that randomly generated. This was our beautiful island living bedroom. So I will make sure to upload this on the gallery. You can find it under Bubbly Brianna 13 on the gallery. No custom content was used, just the many packs that we generated. I hope you guys enjoyed this insane build challenge. I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, definitely created a bunch of stuff that I wouldn't normally create using a lot of different packs. And leave a like if you enjoyed what you saw. Want to see more crazy stuff like this in a future video. And make sure to hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a video. Because sometimes the subscription boxes don't show that I uploaded anything new. But still subscribe and show your support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!